So we're here with Kana too. So who are you? Yeah, I'm uh, Erik Kisoninen and I'm from Kana too. And uh, we show you here some uh, touch sensors made out of uh, our carbon nanobot material. So what is this? Oh, this is a, a 3D shaped uh, touch device. And um, with this one, what you have, you, you have here a slider function and you have a, a wheel and uh, these wheels and uh, sliders can be used to control different functions uh, there's also a button function to switch uh, the device on or off so this is just to show off your sensors this is like a demonstration device yeah this is a demonstration device and uh, well how uh, do you make it well the way how we make it is uh, is that uh, we start from uh, uh, foils like uh, initially we have uh, uh, a, a, a flexible film on top of which we coat our carbon nanobud material in a continuous uh, roll deposition mode. After that, uh, we pattern it to sensors uh, to make it a, a sensor, uh, a, a, a flat sensor, after which it is thermoformed into the desired shape. And uh, after that, we can um, print some uh, decorative coatings on it, like uh, in, in this example. And uh, after that, we uh, back molded uh, with, uh, with with a plastic uh, it, it, which is injection molded like in this case there was polycarbonate uh, injection molding. So that means this device which is 3D can have all kinds of sensors around? Yeah, exactly. Everywhere? Yeah. Anywhere? Yeah, that's, that's true, yeah. And so uh, if you look inside this one for example if you hold this one on, the, on behind, can you show this one? Yes. Uh, what do we see here? Some kind of uh, circuits? Yeah, what we see here is this is uh, how it looks like uh, from, from behind and uh, our material is here, it's this transparent uh, area but then you can bring the signals out uh, using, uh, using uh, normal metal conductors like silver which can be printed. So how much of this is on the market? Are you still uh, are you showing some things for the, for the future market? Yeah, all of this is, is, is pretty new and we have launched our film products uh, during the past year, uh, but uh, the first products will be coming out to, to the market uh, next spring. Next the, spring? Next spring, yeah. Spring is the one before summer, right? <laughs> Correct, yeah. yes. Right. So, so here we have, uh, and, uh, what is this? The first products will be this kind of uh, uh, flat products for, uh, uh, for uh, portable electronics. Uh, Something like a tablet, maybe? Yeah, Something like a tablet and uh, that, that kind of products. And uh, what's different from the other tablets? Um, the, the difference here is that uh, our material has uh, zero reflections. It is it is carbon carbon based, and theref therefore it absorbs all the light instead of reflecting. So and no the, more reflections on the tablet. No more reflections from from our material from the touch sensor. From the touch sensor, yes, but there's yes. still something else, right? Yeah, there's still something from the front surface, and uh, but. Uh, but our materials help reduce the reflections overall. Can you have a front surface without uh, reflection also? Well, you can, you can make practically zero reflection front surface by using uh, anti-reflective coatings. So that is also possible. Something like matte or whatever they call it. Uh, I don't know what it is. Well, it, it, it is, uh, these anti-reflective coatings are normally uh, not really matte, but uh, it's, it's more like just killing the reflections by so by film coating. your technology is in, in, in that kind of product and then this kind of product? Yeah, so, so technology is in, in uh, this kind of uh, rigid uh, tablets, tablet type products, but then also it can, uh, it, it's in the thermoformable products which can be rigid but in 3D shapes, or then it can be also in uh, entirely flexible formats. So in the future, maybe the tablets will be 3D? There'll uh, be three, like uh, different shapes inside. That's that's true. They can be. Uh, How? Can, uh, <laughs> well, you, you need a flexible display for that, and then you need a flexible touch sensor like ours, and then you integrate this uh, this together, and then you can have tablets that can be rollable, form uh, or foldable, bendable. Stretchable. Uh, in the longer term, stretchable. Also. All materials can actually be st stretched, but there are not uh, yet displays which are stretchable. But this is something that the industry is working on, let's say, in a little bit time, longer time frame. Just a few months more, right? Uh, a few months more, yeah. So, right. how, how long time did it take to make this? Uh, so, you, you say one year is the company? 
Oh, the company was actually established already in 2004. So there's a long period of R&D behind uh, uh, these materials. And Before uh, starting to launch yeah, so samples. Exactly. So like we started our commercial activities four years ago, and then we have now built uh, uh, the, the, the first product capability and, and uh, the manufacturing capability. What are you showing over there? Yeah, so what we have here is... Uh, Here we have a, a demonstrator of, of, a, of a dome-shaped touch sensor. There's too much reflection in this display. Yeah, yeah. You need your technology need in there. Yeah, yeah, we would need okay. to. So, so, so here what we have is we have a multi-touch multi uh, sensor. And you can have up to 10, uh, 10 touches. And it is in a dome shape. And so this demonstrates that you can have a full matrix functionality uh, in, in a 3D shape. Nice. So. Uh, what do you think about this conference, ID Tech X? Oh, this is this is this is a very useful conference and then a good place for all the players in this uh, printed electronics to come together and uh, yeah, I uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And this uh, printed electronics uh, business is going to grow very rapidly. Mm. In yeah, the years this, to come. Is, this is actually something where we have done a, a, a survey, an online survey, because we have also wanted to see that. Um, um, what do what do our customers think of uh, where the industry is going? And we have just now published an uh, this online survey results for wearable devices. And what uh, uh, we found is that 98% of the of our respondents they they, they said that there's going to be a uh, large growth in the wearable uh, technology uh, industry now in, in the coming years. And you'll be part of that. We will be part of that, and we'll be the, the company that will be enabling the touch there. Where are you based, the company? Uh, we're based in Helsinki, Finland. All right. So, looking forward to 